Margaret and I, Matt Tully, took us to be Officer Tasker. Welcome to part 11 of Let's Play Dia Field Chronicle. Well, and this is the first part I am doing in post commentary. Harry, because it's getting a lot harder to do live, but we've got a cutscene coming up soon, so I'm going to pipe down for a bit. This will be the Blue Fox's first long-distance deployment. Expect a major battle. You are to eliminate a demi-human swarm that has laid waste to several Westfield villages. Their path so far suggests that they are set to attack the town of Yulden next. Yulden is located on the Jacquerite Highway that runs westward from Central Field. It's the most prosperous town in all of Westfield, and an essential stopover for pilgrims and traders alike. Your task is to prevent the swarm from reaching your den, and ensure that no harm befalls the town. All while the Imperials draw ever closer. There have only been reports of minor skirmishes with the enemy fleet descending upon Targaryen naval base. A major engagement has yet to occur. There is still time before the battle truly begins. Time aplenty for you to fulfill this mission. It's just all so underwhelming. There is just as much meaning to be found in defending Yildin as there is in fending off the Empire. Please, I am in no mood for such nonsense. Enough, we must hurry. Okay, so, I understand this video is a day late. I, I do need to apologize for that. It's a little hard for me to settle into doing post-commentary right now. No, I mean, once I'm used to it, it'll be easier, but... Yeah. Uh, but, we are going to have, have a little bit more voice dialogue coming up before the actual mission, so I need to pipe down again. The swarm is larger than I expected. It's unheard of for demi-humans to amass in such numbers. They certainly didn't all gather together by chance. Indeed not. We ought to find out what's behind this. We can think about that later. For now, our priority is eliminating them. Okay. Hey, so... Oh, the thing about this mission is that it actually turned out to be... Gonna be a lot easier than I, than I was expecting. And, like, I really was expecting to struggle a lot. Uh, but, like, you're going to see I don't really have too hard a time with this myth. There's a bit of a tutorial. I don't really see myself making much use of that. Not if I'm being totally honest. But, you never know. Oh, but I am actually using ZL. Oh, well, I'll take you well, down. Command all units once, and Next time. this is actually where I show off some new skills too. And I don't know why I decided to use ZL to command all units there. there I really only need to command Andreas, and everyone else is just just attacking at full on their own. And, and I do honestly like like the game's AI system. Um, or sometimes I think these units will target nearby enemies on that It's not perfect though. Sometimes it, it doesn't quite work the way they want it to. Another one down. All according to plan. Mm, but you do also need need to be able to have Understood. some degree of control. Also. It's really not too bad. But anyway... Here I go! 
me, it really isn't hard, hard to make good use of skills here. Especially with how overleveled old my party is here. Iscarion has kind of lost his stun shot with, with the new equipment. And I really do need to see be about un unlocking it, so that's kind of a permanent thing. Another one down. I, I do All think that's something plan. you can do in, in the lab. Correct me if I'm wrong. On my way. Understood. But I do know that the lab can, at the very least, at least improve on the ability, needs and effects of skills, those in order to make them better. And I feel like that should include unlocking them for permanent availability. But I could be wrong. Be gone with you. And I do actually like using Andrews' assassination Next skill time. because if it gets the kill, it doesn't need to cool down. On my way. And, and for some reason, I he didn't actually try to make a waypoint at the chest, but it wouldn't let me. He, so I understand. Well, Andrews definitely needs to get the chest before I could and command him back useful. into the fray. And in the chest is a jade crystal, which can help to improve summons. Go. Ones like Bahamut and Goldhorn. And honestly, I do feel like I'm a little over reliant on Bahamut. And like you'll see on this mission, I did actually think about using Bahamut at one point, but I decided to hold on to him for later they just died. because I thought it was too soon. On my way. But that's one wave down, and Here this is the again. last one. This is our first assignment as the Blue Foxes. Let's make sure we don't lose focus. Staying focused is my specialty. Come on, let's make this quick. Okay, Fred's a little off there. Or, technically, this isn't our first assignment as the Blue Foxes. It's for counting side missions that don't, don't, don't bring anything to the main story. I've got this run. is actually... We are fifth mission as the Blue Foxes. Here it goes. But yeah, we need to make use of Shield Bash just to stop that Gigas' skill. And, and Meteor Fall <laughs> also helps. And, and I still love Baltiquin's and Sadist Slap. Oh, they just died. And. This is where I actually try to stun the Gigas that I was about to use a skill. Well, but then notice later that, that oh, it, it already died. Right away. And so that's kind of funny, but this time I can use Shield Bash to stun the enemy. So I do that. Another one down. All and to with plan. that out of the way, we can finish this battle off. But I do actually get the EP Understood. EJ Fragment first, or just because, because that helps to, to make better use of skills, or rather, more use of skills. And whether or not it's better actually kind of depends on on player skill, well, honestly. But the barricade's done. taken care of, which means we can actually fight the Gigas. I want to start off with Shield Bash, and I do think this is where, where I finally decide to use Bahamut. Yeah, it is. Hold on. What am I doing here, actually? Oh, right, I used Rickle's Stun Shot. Now, I use Bahamut. Oh boy, I still need to get Begone used to doing post. But, the actual summon sequence is still something I find kind of cool. Well, I mean, I mean, Very well. I mean the presentation isn't quite on the same level as it is in, in Final Fantasy games. But I do honestly find it to be pretty effective. And this is me wondering why my shield bash wasn't working for me and then seeing, it and, oh, it's not in range yet. And then I wait until I'm in range to actually use it. 
And then Fred's furious glory finishes the job. And with that, the mission is clear. Here we get a lot of gold. We get it would seem a skill point, stronger. a gold nugget, and the jade crystal. Andreas is up to level 19, which is excellent, really. I expected little in the way of fun, yet I was still disappointed. I am only glad that Yulden suffered minimal damage and can enjoy peaceful days ahead. Indeed. Now we had better return to Central Field. There may be news from the front. Hmm. Trouble? I remain puzzled by the actions of the demi-humans in Westfield. What has driven them to slaughter like this? Forming swarms and attacking settlements in a coordinated way is simply not in their nature. And having fought a fair few of them now, I would also say it is beyond their intelligence. Interesting. Do you mean to suggest that someone is manipulating them? It's possible. We'll have to investigate further. Oh, it's them again. Well, at least we got those demi-humans under our control. Just a shame they weren't very useful. Not to worry, though. There's profit to be made from this yet. The Blue Foxes eliminate a demi-human horde that had been launching violent attacks in Westfield. Left with suspicions regarding the horde's behavior, Andrea sends out a scouting party. It soon emerges that the attacks were instigated by Hadi Solbay of the Ardwolf Thieves. This is reported to the Duke, who orders that the Ardwolves be put to the sword at once. Meanwhile, the knights and mercenaries of Eastfield are mobilized by the Lord's Council. And an army of 11,000 strong gathers at Tagaria Naval Base. The army is led by Alatane's crown prince himself, Ivangar Shatham. With the Imperial fleet looming ominously, the Alitanians prepare to face an imminent assault. Prince Ivangar has set out with his troops to Tagaria naval base. The prince is expected to be king one day, and not only because he's the firstborn. His skills are unmatched, while the mark of the blessed affirms his right to the throne. Then we shall do our utmost to be of service to him. Because of Levi? Yes. The fact that he has the mark makes me feel that Levi's spirit lives on in him. Well, his ascension to the throne is not set in stone, despite being the most likely candidate. Are you hinting at something? Not at all. The future is unpredictable, that's all I meant. Levi's unfortunate fate is proof of that. True. We can but do our best to deal with what life throws at us. All right. So, the quest is clear, we get another thousand gold. And... and... There's another conversation going, but this one isn't good. Got a sec. So. Rius, I hear your first mission as the new commander went well. Oh, bother. I always knew you were good, but I'd never have guessed you'd end up being in charge. Right. Anyway, I hear you'll be going after Hadi Solbe, the leader of the Yard Wolves. Hmm. He's a wily so and so. Don't be surprised if he susses our plan and puts his own in motion. <laughs> but hey, with your brains and a holy ants brawn, who could possibly beat us? I'm counting on you. We're counting on you, Rius. Okay, so. Oh. 
Well, before we do anything else, I actually need to check to see if there are any side quests we can do. There aren't. And, and you could see that right there. Right before I exited out. And opening up the map was by accident. I meant to sprint, and I'm sprinting right here. Right to the lab. This is where I actually unlock Andreas's leaping attack. Okay. I did actually look to see what was already unlocked in the first, but yeah. Uh, I unlocked that here. Er, and I don't really have anything to do anything else. Well, what's there? First one, move on to Magical Limit Orb Research. And I actually don't remember what I did here. I think it was related to Goldhorn. Nor it was nothing at all. Well, and this is where I, I put things in place to develop Rupka Lances. 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 I had actually forgotten about this before. Or so I was confused as to why there wasn't a better lance for Frederick. There's my answer. I don't know why I decided to prioritize these weapons that can't be used by anybody over a weapon that Fred could use. But that's over now. And I do actually buy that lance for Fred. Uh, now that's available. Well, and it costs in a furious flurry and that's going to need to be something that I unlock later. But I do sell the Silver Lance for her 600 gold. And I don't know why. I, but I also use, use most of those profits to buy another blended potion so that I have three of those available. And I had the wrong button there. I was mean to open up not the menu to go into equipment. And, but I hit that plus by mistake instead of was it X or Y on the Switch it is right Joy-Con? I don't remember. But this is where I actually save, and in the next part, we're going to be taking on the Ardwolf Thieves. 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 So until then, I am Atelier Toka, Spear Alchemist or Tasker, and I am going to go touch grass!